Asiatico is the title, if I'm pronouncing it right, because I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. Barely speak English. Uh, Asiatico means all things Asian in Spanish, and it's kind of, uh, it was Herb's idea. Herb, Herb Sequenza's idea, because he's uh, directing the show. He's one of our idols uh, from Culture Clash, one of, one of the groups that you know we aspire to be like. Um, we asked him to direct the show, and he wanted to bring a little Latino flavor to the show, and so part of that is to have the title called Asiatico, which is all expansive and includes pretty much anything we could possibly do on stage. It means all things Asian. No, really what it comes <laughs> down to is anybody who's willing to work with us, and that <laughs> list is pretty short, so. And getting shorter every year. Yes, and every time we work with somebody, <laughs> it's another person who can cross off that list. <laughs> anyway, that's right. We have Asian Americans talking about immigration issues and uh, you know the things that happened in Arizona with uh, the SB 1070. Uh, uh, so you know that that kind of that was one of the aspects that we got in there that br brought in the the Asian Latino uh, aspect because that's something that our communities share. You know the, uh, about uh, uh, identity and. Uh, Immigration. Yeah. Basically, yeah. there's something for everybody. If yeah. you want commentary, you got it. If you like stereotypes, we got them. <laughs> if you like just Dada humor, it's there. Mm -hmm. If you like superheroes, we got them. So I like how you're looking at the microphone. I'm talking to you talking. guys yeah. right there. Yeah. You. Yeah. 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 It's better yeah. than talking to the hand. Yeah, it's because it's like you're talking to their crotch, which is really good. That's <laughs> really Michael's appeal is that he appeals, he talks <laughs> to, he looks, yes. You know. yeah. well, with my scripts, it's almost 100% improv from Greg because my scripts are mere suggestions for Greg. Just mere suggestions how to say the line. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Actually, I, spring, I write my uh, scripts very tightly. Everything is there that you need. But uh, not, not everything works. Sometimes you ad lib a little bit. Um, there's room for ad lib. I think there's 95% of the script is there and there's 5% room for ad libbing, I'd say. Yeah, no, we're not an improv group. I don't know where the, where the idea that comedy groups are improv groups came about. Every time. Somebody describes us, they always call us an improv group. And wh what did that happen? I don't know. That's because most people don't know what sketch comedy is. But why I mean, do people even know what improv is? I mean, that's not even like, how many people go see an actual improv show? Well, I mean, one of the stand up comedy clubs is called the Improv. So. And it's 100% written. 100% written from t beginning, middle, and end. Yeah, yeah. talking on the microphone again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what Hornbuckle usually says, and what I usually say, is for the be best handle is to say it's like Saturday Night Live or In Living Color, right. because then they'll understand, oh, that's scripted. You know, that's, you know, uh, it, that's probably the closest handle, except that most people don't have an experience with seeing that live. That's, it's not really very prevalent. Each actor brings at least three times the amount of yeah. comedic energy that normal actors would about produce yeah 16% about 16% for show yeah 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 about 100 yeah